our support staff is really special. They're, they're different because I think they show our players what professionalism is, but they also, you know, meet them on their level and, you know, they, they support them, they laugh with them. They are extension of our coaching staff. I'm in Kara McNeil. My name is Connor Putman. My name is Daquan Gordon. I go by DQ. I'm Jed Jones. My name is Renisha Bolden. My name is Rosemary Ragel. I'm Savannah Carter. I'm Alex Stewart. My name is Tracy Tanner. The expectation is championship behavior, and they display that. So when I first started coaching, support staff was very behind the scenes. Now they look like your coaching staff. Our players have a lot more respect for them because they can see the work they're doing. It's not just behind the scenes. They are a very important part, their family. Just for our players to be able to see them and appreciate them has meant everything for, you know, just both for me personally, but for our program. What up squad? We back at it. Individuals time, trying to get better. That's where champions are made. I met Coach Jay actually through my wife. My wife was athletic trainer, Coach Jay's first year here. And we fostered a relationship through there talking about basketball. And um, I loved what she was doing. Um, had a young staff letting them, you know, learn, learn, develop and grow into who they are. And um, I wanted a part of it. So she gave me the opportunity to be a graduate assistant. And I jumped right on board. Coach Jay's first year at Mississippi State was my first my freshman year. Um, so I actually played against her, um, but didn't actually like meet her until she got here. Um, so I've known her for three years now. Um, but honestly, it was kind of just like an instant like connection and just a very genuine connection. And I could tell that like, she wanted to come to Auburn to like, change the landscape, bring Auburn back to where it used to be. She just had a different vibe about her that this program hasn't seen in a long time. My player heart bought into what she was doing and wanted to be part of that in any realm that I could. For me, I got into this field, um, wanted to work in college athletics to have those relationships, right? You know, I was a student athlete at one point, so just being able to kind of, you know, relive it in a sense kind of with them and be a part of that process and that journey um, is great. And this is such a great group that we have too. I have so much fun with them. Um, you know, they make my job really easy. So uh, yeah, it's, it's awesome. What's funny about us is I think we started last year, the support staff huddle at, after each or before each game, put our hands in and we we're like, support staff on three, one, two, three, support staff. But this entire staff is just very unique in its own way because we're all able to be who we are and nobody is judged or anything like that. Not too many people take anything personal. So it's just a lot of like go-getters in this room and uh, we can laugh while doing that. We improved upon from Wednesday, okay? So Monday, you gotta set the bar a little bit higher, okay? And each time we come back, you just gotta keep setting it a little bit higher, okay? No, I'm not the head coach, but there are times of the year where I see them more than the coaches. And so I have a little bit more of a leader role there. Um, and then when the season rolls around, then I kind of take a back seat and take lead from the coaches, but definitely trying to set the same culture in the weight room, whether we're running outside or doing conditioning in the gym, setting the same culture that Coach Jay wants because it's ultimately her team. Um, but I still need to be that um, leader in that particular workout. I have a, a unique relationship with the girls now, especially being on the court. So I'll, I'll, I look forward to developing those relationships with them. Uh, but right now, kind of being behind the scenes and, you know, I'm the one that kind of helps, you know, gather a lot of their meals, uh, get sizes, travel. So, so they come to me when things kind of start to break down. So we pretty much kind of have a good, a good relationship and they always need something from me, though. So that, I hate to say it like that, but... Those are the best ones because they always come and need something. I think I have phenomenal relationships with the student athletes. Um, I'm a very approachable person. Um, so they know they can come to me about anything and I'm just gonna be very transparent with them because I want the best for them. I try to give time to the players to get to know me. I want them to get to know me first. And, but at the same time, I'm also trying to find out more about them so that I can connect in some way. 
that's always a goal of mine because at the end of the day, I want them to trust me so that they can depend on me and everybody's on the court at the end of the day. It just feels like family. In all honesty, uh, you know, they we almost just like a group of uh, sisters and brothers. I think that it sets us apart from other programs just because of you know, who we are and how we are in the office. We're just a fun group, but we are also uh, making sure we're taking care of business. We needed uh, support staff that would come in with fresh ideas that could put our um, put our name and our faces back, put Auburn women's basketball back on the map. It had been done here before and we wanted to get back to it. And the way we sell our vision, our dream of what Auburn women basketball is, um, was everything you know, that I needed our support staff to be able to display. I think France helped me a lot, you know, getting closer to them and um, understanding where they come from and why they are who they are. Um, I know for the past two years I wasn't good at that, building relationships with them. So this year I wanted to make that a critical point for myself to get to know them and who they are and how I can be able to coach them on the court. My relationship is it's awesome with them. I get to have fun with them, foster relationships to, you know, um, just get the most out of them on and off the court because, you know, as we know, you know, a lot of our, a lot of things are better if we're doing good off the court and on the court. Previous teams, would take 6 a.m.'s personal, and they'd hold on to that. Well, Jen made us do this, Jen made us do that. This team, they understand that it's challenging and that we're trying to get somewhere, but after it's over, they're laughing. Do you believe what we had to do this morning? <laughs> so that's what I like about them so much, is they know that it's not personal. We just all have the same goal, and we're, we're all working towards to get there. We're definitely like a big family. Sometimes we have disagreements, but at the end of the day, like we're all we got and we're all we need. Um, and so I really like that about us because we're gonna push each other and hold each other accountable to be our best selves because it not only affects us, it affects these kids and it also affects our program. It's just really, really cool to see, um, you know, now going into my third year, just kind of how this is finally, you know, coming to fruition. And um, they just, they play hard for each other. They pick each other up. They, you know, no one gets upset with each other when they're pushing, uh, you know, pushing one another. Uh, it's a really, really good team. And I think they're gonna do really great things this year. Here we go, y'all, family on three. One, two, three. Family! I really, truly believe that this is a special group um, just based off of being around them all the time. Anytime a support member has an integral part, it's all about the head coach. It's all about the program. And it's all about the university at the end of the day. So we're trying to win a national championship and that's my goal.